had a thing for major craft lure fishing rods ever since that nine foot sky road. I've fished with Truzers, with X rides, more sky roads, the triple cross EU customs, but this new one, this new major craft lure rod, this is something else. The rod I'm using here is the new Major Craft Seabass Custom Limited Edition 9 foot 6, 7 to 35 grams. And I've had this blank here for about 18 months now. When we're talking about a lure rod like this for my bass fishing, rated seven to 35 grams, I need a rod like this to do a lot of my kind of everyday bass fishing. I need it to cover soft plastics. That is a given because I use soft plastics so much these days. I need it to cover your regular hard lures, you know, hound glides, your Komomo SF125s. I need it to cover my sandy old pencils, my top water lures. I also needed to be able to bump soft plastics along the bottom, you know, minnows, sand eels, those kind of things. Basically, I will turn to a rod like this for a lot of my bass fishing. When I do these rod reviews on my blog, I'll always get asked the question, how does so-and-so rod fish with the pachinko? Now, I personally think this new Major Craft rod is absolutely perfect for the pachinko. It bangs that lure a country mile with no effort whatsoever. And what I really like about this rod is when you're working the pachinko at range, the tip is performing fantastically. You've got all the control and the sensitivity you need, but the tip is not collapsing into the lure at all. Look at it. It's working it so easily, but there's not too much give, so the rod doesn't start to feel kind of spongy in the end. There's no getting away from the fact we all like different styles of rod handles and different lengths of rod handles. I really like the handle and the handle length on this Major Craft rod. That sits with me absolutely perfectly. And then the actual length of it, I like a rod, a nine foot six or a nine foot rod, that kind of thing. I like it to sit around that length so it can pass just about on the inside of there. And then that feels really comfortable to me, the way it fishes. It kind of sits naturally. The rod is so light. It's so incredibly responsive that for me, that length of handle and also style of handle just sits really well. Whatever the word feel actually means with a lure rod, this thing's got it. I have to have it that a rod like this can fish my soft plastics, in my mind, perfectly. I'm using the Savage Gear Gravity Stick Pulse Tail here. It's about 14 grams. And I want, you know, I want the power to chuck it, but I want that feel of finesse when I'm fishing it. I want there to be power, but not too much power. And I want all that whatever feel is that I can get. We all know the Pachinko is a great surface lure, but it's pretty heavy. And a lot of the time we are fishing with lighter surface lures. So your seven to 35 gram rod, in my mind, and especially at this price, has to be able to do it very well. This Major Craft Seabass Custom, to me, it's as good with the smaller surface lures as it is with the soft plastics. It just, sits in your hand when you're working these lures with absolutely no effort at all. 
I do find myself working soft plastics on jig heads along the bottom a fair amount over rock and in current. So I want, you know, I want enough grunt from the rod to put the lures out there, but I so need the tip on this rod to be powerful enough to work them and feel everything along the bottom. This rod does it. I reckon I use a Shimano 4000 spinning reel the most on this rod, but it takes the 3000 size really well. I even like the heavier Slammer 3500 on it. That feels really nice. Look, this is not a cheap fishing rod. And part of the reason are these Fuji Torzite guides, but I love them. I have never, ever, ever found a single spot of rust on any Torzite guides on any rods I've ever used. I'm not buying a seven to 35 gram rod for really big surf conditions, but a 35 gram top end, I still want it to chuck, say a 35 gram surf seeker, and it does. You can seriously, seriously push this rod hard with a 35 gram metal, no worries at all. Look, we're talking about a lure rod here that is over 350 quid. Now, I'm not saying you need to spend that kind of money on a lure rod. Of course you don't. But this is easily the best nine foot six major craft lure rod I've fished with. It is absolutely stunning. And I'll put it above the Truser, which I really, really liked. When I'm fishing with a rod that I like this much, I keep kind of thinking that I should try and find, you know, find something wrong with it. But for me, I can't. I like the grip. I like the handle length. This rod is ridiculously light. It's responsive. The tip doesn't collapse when I'm fishing my surface lures. It bumps plastics, it fishes plastics. I can do kind of, you know, up to 35 grams. I could take a rod like this and do the bulk of my bass fishing. You know, for sure when the surf fishing gets hectic, I'll turn to that heavier kind of, you know, 45, 50 gram rod, but you'd expect that. This to me is your almost sort of everyday nine foot six lure rod that is definitely a cut above a lot of other fishing rods I've used. I'm really pleased that this lure rod's so nice. You know, I'm nothing to do with Major Craft, never have been. But to see them bring out a rod like this and go north of that 350 quid mark for a limited edition rod like the Seabass Custom, you know, I think it's brave, I think it's bold, but this thing, it's a beaut. It just sits in my hands and I want to go fishing with it. It's a stunner.